everybody watching this at home, welcome to We Each Family Feud. I'm your host, Mike Van Dyken. I have got Matt. This week we have the Cruzix facing off against the O'Connell family. Emily and O'Connell are both veteran youth leaders and confirmation teachers. Tim is an elder, and Ryan and Jill are both graduates of our taught middle school Bible. Teddy is currently studying at a Christian university, and Alex is studying at Moody Bible Institute. And I only mention any of that because tonight all that training may just come in handy, because tonight's feud is all about the Bible. Now, before we explain the rules again, let's introduce our families. We're going to do it a little differently tonight. So first, I want to introduce the Cruzix, and we're going we're gonna to let Jerry take it away. Jerry, first I want to hear, why were you so excited to get on the Family Feud? And then you can introduce your entire family. Because, Micah, I watch Family Feud every night on TV. In fact, you're like my favorite host since Ray Combs back in the 90s. I mean, I just love this show. So I, I couldn't wait to get on it. By the way, you have better hair than Steve Harvey. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, why don't you introduce your family? This this is my smoking hot wife, Kristen, my oldest son and hippie extraordinaire Teddy, and my other two sons, Alex and Alex. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Cool. Well, that's the Cruzix. Thank you for, for your being so enthusiastic. Um, now let's move on to the O'Connells. Tim O'Connell, why don't you introduce yourself and introduce your family? I am Tim O'Connell, and up until this morning, I thought we were playing Trivia Pursuit, so obviously I'm not the family feud kind of a uh, rocking guy, but we're going to do our best. This is my wife, Leanne, also smoking hot, uh, really busy working at the hospital, so thank you for all your thoughts. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, she falls asleep, just let it go. Uh, that's Ryan. Yes, he's that tall. Yes, I'm that short, and no, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, this is Jill, our daughter, and this is Karen, my adopted daughter, don't ask. <laughs> or it's our neighbor, whichever story you want. That's awesome. Uh, fantastic. Awesome. Well, hey, here's how this is going to work. Starting with the youngest members of your family, you will send up two representatives to your computer. I will read our question out loud, and the first person to virtually wave at me after I've first finished reading the question will get the opportunity to guess an answer. If they get the top answer, then their team gets to play the round. If they don't get the top answer, the other player gets the chance to steal if they can guess an answer that is worth more points. The team that plays the round can get up to three wrong answers before the other team gets the chance to steal the round. Whoever ends up guessing the last correct answer on the board gets the points. So are we ready to play some Family Feud? Yes. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. All right, so send, send up your two youngest contestants to the, to the computer. Uh, not me. That's me. Not me either. It's me unless you count the dog. <laughs> we will not tonight. <laughs> awesome. All right, are you both ready? Okay, all right, our first category is going to be name somebody from the Bible whose name starts with the letter M. Alex, going with you. Moses. Moses, was that Moses? Yep. Moses is the number one answer. Nice work, Alex. All right, Grusix, so you can take our first round. Um, uh, who's older, Alex or, or uh, Alex Salto or Teddy? Alex Cruzic, get it right. All right, sorry. All right, Teddy, what do you got for us? Name somebody from the Bible whose name starts with the letter M. Mary. Mary. Ooh, is Mary on the board? Mary's the number two answer. Nice work, Teddy. All right, Alex, number two. What do you got for us? Mark. Mark. Is Mark on the board? Mark is on the board. Nice work. All right, Kristen, what do you got? Name somebody from the Bible whose name starts with the letter M. Um, Methuselah. Ooh, Methuselah. <laughs> he did. That, that's definitely a middle school Bible Bible teacher's answer. 
<laughs> and luckily for you, it's on the board. Oh, there's one. Wow. Awesome. Jerry, what do you got for us? Name somebody from the Bible whose name starts with the letter M. Malachi. Malachi. Good answer. Malachi. Unfortunately, Malachi. Oh, wow. Wow. They could pull good answer. Good answer. Good answer. It was a good answer. Alex, what do you got for us? Name somebody else from the Bible whose name starts with the letter M. Matthew. Matthew. Oh. One of the four Gospels. It's definitely on the board. Nice work. All right, Teddy, you can get our last one. What do you think? Uh, Micah. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's a pretty Ooh. solid name choice. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not. Oh. I know, I was shocked too. All right, Alex, what do you think? Come on, Alex. Oh, no. the depression. If you get it wrong, the other team gets the chance to steal. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Five, four, three. Michael. Michael? Yeah. Very solid answer. Very solid answer. Unfortunately, it's oh. not. Oh. Okay. All right. O'Connells, you guys have the chance to steal. What do you think it is, O'Connells? Name somebody from the Bible whose name starts with the letter M. Oh, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so confused. How about the uh, good old Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? So Meshach. 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 Interesting. Rack, Shaq, and Benny, if you're a big VeggieTales fan. Unfortunately, Meshach is not our final answer. Uh, so the Cruzix get the points. Uh, what's the last Sorry. Michael. What is the last one? Martha. Martha's Martha. The Cruzics get 90 points for that round. Nice work. All right, send up your next youngest contestants to the to the to the up to your computer. So that is Ryan and Teddy. Ryan and Teddy. All right, are you both ready? You can access it from there, Teddy. I'm impressed. All right. Um, the next category is going to be name an animal mentioned in the Bible. Uh, that one is Teddy. Teddy, what do you got for us? Name an animal mentioned in the Bible. Wait a minute. Same thing. Sorry, what did you say, Teddy? A donkey. A donkey. That's one of my favorite stories. And it's the number two answer. So, Ryan, you get the chance to steal. Name an animal mentioned in the Bible. Uh, I'm going to go with whale. A whale. Ooh, Jonah and whale. Surprisingly, that one's not on there. Whale isn't on there. So, Cruzix, you guys get to take the round. What do you think? Um, Alex, name another animal mentioned in the Bible. We're going to go with the dove. The dove. Ooh, the Holy Spirit came down like a dove. It is on the board. Kristen, what do you think? Name another animal mentioned in the Bible. A snake. Ooh, the snake. Right away in the beginning. Absolutely. Jerry, what do you think? Name another animal mentioned in the Bible. Camel. Ooh, a camel. Easier for a camel to get through an eye of a needle. Ah, he's getting got the Bible reference with it. Nice work. And it's on the board. Yeah. Alex, what do you think? Name another animal mentioned in the Bible. A sheep. A sheep. That's the number one answer. All right, Teddy, back to you. There's two more answers on the board. What do you think? Name another animal mentioned in the Bible. A lion. Ooh, a lion. The lion of Judah. Absolutely. And we're going to go with goats. 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 The sheep and the goats. Is that our final answer? It is. Oh! Wow. Oh. <laughs> All right, the Cruzix have 190, the O'Connells have zero points. <laughs> right, send up your next people or next contestants to the to the computer. Uh, we're quitting. 
Terrible. Hey, my paid ringers. Good stuff. Ringing somebody from the bathroom. Oh, right. now I'm on the ground. I don't know if I can stand up again. So what do I do to push the button? And no fish? I thought that would be on there for sure. So just, yeah, no, that, when I, I, was, I was surprised as well. All right, Leanne, you ready? Yep. Alex, you good? I'm good. Cool. All right, our next category is name a famous miracle of Jesus. Gonna give that one to the to the Cruzix again. Alex, what do you think? Name a famous miracle of Jesus. Water to wine. Water to wine. That is his first miracle. And it's the number five answer. But Leanne, you have four chances to steal. What do you think? Name a more popular famous miracle. Oh, <laughs> uh, the loaves and the fishes. Ooh, loaves and the fishes. Feeding the 5,000 is our number two answer, so the O'Connells get to take this round. Nice work. All right, Tim. Tim, what do you got for us? Name a famous miracle of Jesus. Walking on the water. Ooh, walking on the water. That's the number one answer. Nice work, Tim. <laughs> nice. Um, forgive me, I've forgotten your name, but um, awesome neighbor lady who's also on Mensa. <laughs> uh, I would say Rising from the Dead. Ooh, Rising from the Dead. His, yeah, absolutely. His resurrection is definitely on the board. Nice work. All right, Jill, how about you? Name a famous miracle of Jesus. Making the lame man walk. Ooh. Making the lame man walk. Unfortunately, that one's not on the board. Ryan, what do you think? Two more answers on the board. Name a famous miracle of Jesus. Uh, curing the leper. Ooh, curing the leper. Unfortunately, that one's not on there either. Those are two of the things that, that Jesus said he, was, he came to do, but neither of them are on the board. Um, Leanne, back to you. Uh, bringing Lazarus back, bleh, Lazarus, easy for you to back from the dead. <laughs> bringing Lazarus back from the dead is that one on the board? It's the number three answer. Nice work. All right, Tim. If you get this one right, you get all the points. If you get it wrong, the Cruzix get the chance to steal. So Cruzix, be thinking of your answer. How about uh, the blind man to see? Ooh. Giving the blind sight. Unfortunately, that is not the final answer. Cruzix get the chance to steal. Oh. Go ahead. All right, Cruzix, what do you guys got for us? What do you think the final answer is? Name a famous miracle of Jesus. Go ahead, Alex. We're going to go with casting out demons. Casting out demons. Ooh, that one I think would be one of the best ones to see. I, that's that's something that I wish I could see. Unfortunately, it's oh. the final answer. O'Connell's get the points. Well, the score is now 190 to 95. The, the O'Connells are on the board. The final answer was calming the storm. Oh, Yep. <laughs> Mikey, you sounded surprised that we were going to be on the board. Thanks. I think you have to. I don't know. Another. Which one? The it's left one? Either way. Yeah. Either way, you got to actually make the click noise. Okay. Click. Got it. Are you on um, the. Is that covering up? I'll cover you over it. Oh, you'll have to do this. Let's go. Yeah, don't right. take your finger. Are we, are we all ready? Always. I'm ready. You bet. All right. The next category is. Tell me another name for Jesus. I'm going to give that one to Tim. Christ. 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 Jesus Christ. That's his last name, right? That's definitely the number one answer. All right. Woo. All right. More enthusiastic clicking. You got to find a full screen. <laughs> All right, tell me another name for Jesus that's not Christ. 
uh, uh, the Messiah. Ooh, the Messiah, which is technically what Christ means, but that's our number two answer. <laughs> You're scaring us there. Come on now. Yes. <laughs> All right, Joe, so what do you got for us? Tell us another name for Jesus. Savior. Oh, you know, it's it's not oh. <laughs> I'll take your answer, the Savior. <laughs> the Savior. Ooh, the Savior. Unfortunately, the Savior is not on the board. What? <laughs> right, Ryan, what do you think? Tell us another name for Jesus. Uh, I'm going to go with Yahweh. Yahweh, ooh, the, the biblical name for God. Unfortunately, that one's not on there either. All right, Leanne, what do you think? If you get this one right, you guys keep guessing. If you get it wrong, the Cruzics get the chance to steal. Teacher. Teacher, ooh. Unfortunately, teacher's not on the board either. I know, these are, this, I was kind of surprising. All right, Cruzix, what do, you, what do you think? Tell us another name for Jesus. Uh, the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd. Is that one on the board? Unfortunately, it's not. There. Oh. Wow. Man. Uh, all right, so that's another 73 points for the O'Connells. Good job, O'Connell. <laughs> The rest of the answers were the Son of God. Uh, that was going to be my choice. King of Kings or Lord of Lords. Redeemer. Kind of like Savior, but, but different. And the last one was Emmanuel. <laughs> surprising, some surprising names on there. Which one do I click? Which one? No, I won't. All right. How do we get in the cruise ship? Good night. <laughs> 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 You're not ready. Oh, are we cooking? Hold on. All right. Are we, are we all ready for our next category? Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Cool. All right. The next category is, and remember, you have to wait until I'm done reading the entire category. Name something that you associate with Eve from the Bible. Ooh, the O'Connells. Nice. Go, Karen. Karen, what do you got for us? Name something that you associate with Eve from the Bible. The apple. The apple. Ooh. I'll give you fruit. I think that counts. Number two okay. answer. Jerry, you get a chance to steal if you can guess the number one answer. Probably her strapping and handsome husband, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. That is surprising. Oh, no! <laughs> We'd like to play, Micah. <laughs> We're back to Alex. All right, Alex, what do you got for us? Name something else that you associate with Eve from the Bible. Uh, the serpent. The serpent. The, the serpent. That's our number three answer, the snake. Yep. Teddy, what else you got? Name something that you associate with Eve from the Bible. Nudity. <laughs> what was that? Nudity. I, that is not on the board. <laughs> Alex, what do you think? Name something that you would associate with Eve from the Bible. Sin. 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 That's our number four answer. Kristen, what do you think? What's our final answer? Name something else that you would associate with Eve from the Bible. Uh, the garden. Ooh, the Eve. garden. Is the garden on the board? It's our final yeah. answer. Cruzix take that round as well. Well done, family. <laughs> nice work, Cruzix. The score is now... 290 for the Cruzix to um, 95 plus 73 is equal to 168. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not great at math, but I, I, I can figure that one out. All right, so your next two contestants. We have two rounds left. Two rounds left. No more kissing. We're back to our original, right? Our, our youngest two. So it's Jill and Alex again, I believe. 
Yeah. All right, Jill, are you ready? Yep. Okay. Our next category is name a famous Old Testament Bible story. That was a direct tie. Um, so I am going to read it one more time, and you guys have to both sign in or both try clicking in one more time. So remove your little thumbs ups, and now I'm going to read it one more time. Name a famous Old Testament Bible story. Uh, that one I'm going to give to Alex. Alex, name a famous Old Testament Bible story for us. Noah's Ark. Ooh, Noah's Ark. Is Noah's Ark on the board? That's the number one answer. All right, Teddy, name us another famous Old Testament Bible story. Uh, Jonah and the Whale. Ooh, Jonah and the Whale. That's number three. Nice work. Alex, what do you think? Name another famous Old Testament Bible story. Lion's Den. Jonah, or Daniel and the Lion's Den. Jonah and the Lion's Den. <laughs> Jonah and the Lion's Den. <laughs> <laughs> That's our the last and Daniel and the Lions that is definitely on the board. Kristen, what do you think? Name another famous Old Testament Bible story. Uh, David and Goliath. Ooh, David and Goliath. That's a classic. <laughs> definitely number two. Jerry, what do you think? What's I'm another famous? Going for one that's a little obscure here. It's gonna be a low point one, but I think it's up there. The talking donkey. Ooh, Balaam and the talking donkey. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one is not on the board. All right, back to Alex. What do you think? Um, creation. Ooh, creation. In the beginning. That's on the board. Teddy, two more on. Two more are up there. What do you think? Uh, the ten plagues. Ooh, the ten plagues. That's a pretty important story. Unfortunately, it's not on there. Ten plagues were not on there. Alex, what do you think? If you get this one right, you guys keep guessing. If you get it wrong, the O'Connell's chance to steal. So what do some of you uh, We're going to go with uh, Samson and Delilah. Ooh, Samson. That's a good one. Full of all kinds of intrigue. Unfortunately, it's not on there. Samson is not on there. None of the judges were. That's kind of surprising. All right, O'Connells, you guys have the chance to steal. What's your answer? Name a famous Old Testament Bible story. What do you think? There's two left on the board. Parting of the Red Sea. Ooh, the parting of the Red Sea. Is it on there? It is. You were so close with the, 12, the 10 plagues, but it's the parting of the Red Sea that most people remember. Um, and the final answer is Joseph and the coat of many colors. Nicely done. All right. Are we ready for our final category? Send up our last two contestants. Someone that knows how to work the quicker. <laughs> Ryan versus Teddy. Ryan versus Teddy. All right. Our final category of the night is going to be name a book of the Bible that is not the name of a person or people or, or people group or place. Name a book of the Bible that is not the name of a person or people group or place. Um, uh, I am so. So I read it twice. So technically, I'm going to give it to Ryan because he buzzed in right after I, I read it the first time. So Alex, I'm sorry, but I'm going to give it to Ryan. All right, Ryan, name uh, the Bible that's not the name of a person, people group, or place. Uh, Revelation. Ooh, Revelation. Is Revelation on there? It's the number three answer. Nice work. Alex, do you have a better answer? There's, there's two above it. Ready? Oh, sorry, Teddy. Genesis. Ooh, is Genesis higher than Revelation? It's the number one answer. <laughs> All right, Chris. Back to you. Wait, hey, wait a minute. Genesis is a singing group. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a people group. 
Yay! Awesome. <laughs> Accurate in a secular sense. O'Connell's get a bonus 50 points just for that comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cruzix, what do you got for us? Um, I believe it's Alex. Alex, name a book of the Bible that is not the name of a person or people group or place. We're going to go with Psalms. Ooh, Psalms. Psalms is the number two answer. The hymn book of the Bible. All right, Kristen, what do you think? There's four answers left on the board. Name a book of the Bible that's not the name of a pe person, people group, or place. Proverbs. Proverbs. Ooh, right after Psalms. And that one's on the board as well. All right, Jerry, what do you think? I'm going to go with Acts. Acts. Ooh, that's a really good one. Acts. Is Acts on the board? Fortunately, Acts is not on the board. Technically, it might be called Acts of the Apostles, so maybe that's a people group, but it's usually just called Acts, so I don't know. Um, back to Alex. What do you think? Uh, numbers. Numbers. Is numbers on the board? It is. Numbers. <laughs> Teddy, what do you think? Back to you. Uh, Exodus. Exodus. Ooh, Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> And unfortunately, Exodus is on the board. Oh! <laughs> what a psycho. <laughs> All right, Alex, this is up to you. you. You could get the last answer of the game. Name a book of the Bible that's not the name of a person or people group or place. Hmm. Oh, no. We're just going to go with Deuteronomy. Why not? Ooh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. It's a good guess. Unfortunately, it's not on there. Kristen, you got the final answer. If you get it right, you guys get the points. If you get it wrong, the O'Connells get the chance to steal. Uh, Leviticus. Ooh, Leviticus. Leviticus. Nobody likes reading through Leviticus. And it's our number seven. I spent it too. Except for two. Yeah, right? It was worth the guess. Well done. Yeah, way to go cruising. Our final scores are the Cruzix with 390 points. And the O'Connells with, um, hold on, let me do some. Uh, what's 95 plus uh, 97 plus 93? I don't think that's right. <laughs> what's what plus what plus what? Um, 95, actually wait, uh, so that's 200, 295. So that's 390 versus 295. Well done, Kristen. Leviticus, come on. <laughs> well, thank you guys both very much for being willing to play tonight. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I'm glad I got to fulfill Jerry's dream of being on Family Feud. That makes us very happy. <laughs> Um, and I hope someday you get the chance to do it for real. That would be awesome. Um, but until next time, we will see everybody tomorrow morning at online worship. And again, if you want your family to be on this sometime, all you have to do is email Micah at paylistcommunity.church, and I would love to put you on there. If not, then I think we're getting pretty close to playing some championship rounds. So Cruzix, you guys will be, be back again. Don't worry. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for playing. Uh, we will see you all tomorrow morning at worship. Bye, O'Connells. Bye, Michael. Bye, Bye guys.